Hi there, I'm Dale Mathis and I am in Sun City, Arizona and today I am here to show you a very first accordion lesson. We don't need any sheet music, we're just going to learn to play something very very simple if you've never picked up an accordion before, you should be able to do this because this is your starting point. So we're going to do some really, really simple things. And the thing about the accordion is that it's an instrument that you've got right on your chest so you can feel the vibrations of this instrument. It's a wonderful instrument to play because it's right here, right by you, and it just surrounds you in sound and uh, it, it truly is uh, an instrument that is loved around the world and uh, there is no reason why you can't learn to play one. Um, the instrument that I'm holding at this moment is an acoustic instrument which means that it has bellows and it has air going through it and the, that air going through it is making the reeds vibrate when I push the keys down and that will cause the bellows to move. So first off, with the uh, accordion, you want to make sure that the straps are tight enough so that it's quite close to your chest and uh, that it's basically hanging down vertically as you see in the, in the image here. And then the next thing is that the strap on the um, bellows side has to be firm enough so that basically that the palm of your hand is resting against the palm back here so that when, when you're pushing back in, oh and there's an air button up here, you need to know about that also. That's uh, a button that opens a valve inside here so that air can move in and out of the accordion. It's almost like it's breathing. and you just hit that with your thumb. So now what you're going to look for on this particular instrument, I think what I'm going to do is just pull up close here on my little rolly chair and maybe put this down a little bit. There we go. Okay, so what you're going to look for here is in this particular instrument, this one has 60 bases, so it has one, two, three, four, five vertical rows and uh, in the first vertical row gives a bass sound, the second one another bass sound and then the next row that one button is actually playing three notes or a chord, the next row another chord and the next row another chord. So to get started with this, you're going to look for in about the center of the rows here. The second row in on this 60 bass has got a little indent in it and get centered here right. And you can just feel with the tip of your finger, I'm using my uh, middle finger to push that down. <laughs> that is the C bass button. And if you are out of position, if you're way down here or way up here, uh, many accordions also have another indented or cross hatch button on it. And it's like braille, it helps you find where you are. So anyhow, we're going to push down that first one. And then with the second finger right in back of it, is a chord button. So this is the C bass and the C chord. You could try holding them both together. Also notice when you move the bellows back and forth while you are holding those uh, notes down, it causes a break in the sound. So as we get to playing a little bit more here, that's one thing we do not want to do is change bellow direction while you're holding the notes down because it is as if you're playing two different notes. So uh, the thing that I'd like you to try and accomplish is to hit the, the bass button first and then the chord button 
and hit it again. So it ends up sounding like It's not that hard. You can just take this uh, video and repeat that over and over and over until you get how that feels. And then if you can move both fingers up towards your chin, one set of buttons, that's going to be the G bass and major chord. And go back down to the C. The song I'm just gonna hold them both down together and that is the accompaniment for an entire song Wow okay you can do it so now in the right hand what we're gonna find here I get my chair a little closer is that you're going to see that you've got groups of two black keys and three black keys and this is a repeating pattern that happens on the accordion and depending upon the size of your accordion, these are piano accordions now because they have piano type keys on the right hand side of the instrument. And so you'll see here on the low end that it only goes down with two black keys, but if this were a larger accordion, there would be another black key down here in the very end and uh, on larger accordions, which you will also see in this video that there are more keys down on this end. But for the sake of this very first song, what you um, would like, what I would like you to do is take your thumb and next to those two black keys, put it down. Play, and it's called a C note, C. And it just follows the alphabet. There are only seven notes in the musical alphabet in the um, Western musical al alphabet, which is, you know, anything from Bach and Mozart to uh, rock and roll. It's all uses the same scale. So all I want you to do is go C with your thumb and then D with your second finger and E with your middle finger. And then you're just going to go E, C, E. And then D with your second finger. D, E, E, C, E, C, E, C, D, D, C. And then you can just repeat the video <clears throat> in that section over and over and over and over until you get it. And now I'm going to put the two together. So in the left hand, I'm going to do the And while that's going, that's the C bass, that's the one with the indent in it, I'm going to play E, C, E, C. And now here comes the tricky part. You move these fingers up to the G and you play with your second finger here. And now move this back down to the C. E, C, E, C, D. And you move your G back up. And that's it. So another time with this. Start with the C in the left hand over here. That's the one with the indent. E, C, E, C. Now the G chord with the D here. 
Now back to the C chord. E, C, E, C. G chord in the left hand and D over here. Okay, I'm going to do it one more time and just play the tune. It's not that hard. You can create music on the accordion really easy. Playing music on the accordion is so much easier than learning piano. And take it from me, I played piano and I played organ and pipe organ and accordion and all these different instruments. And uh, guitar, uh, guitar is hard on the fingers. And uh, piano, you've got to figure out what's going on in the left hand and the right hand. And granted, yes, we've got to get the bellows moving back and forth. But you're going to find after you do this for a little bit that it really does come pretty easy and it's a wonderful sensation to have the music playing against your chest. So at the um, next section of this video, I'm going to use a digital instrument to play lots and lots of different types of sounds with this same song. And you're going to find that the bellows on the digital are not moving air. They are just uh, processing your sound as far as how loud you're playing. So it, in fact, is probably easier, at least for me, it's much easier to play the digital than it is uh, the acoustic accordion. So I'll be right back with my Roland accordion. Okay, so I'm back with the Roland accordion. This is the model FR4X digital accordion. So to get started, first thing we'll do is right up here, there is a, a little button and when I touch it, it turns the instrument on and the tab turns blue and up in my screen up on top here, I'm going to see some information scrolling through. I'll open up the bellows straps and get my hand in place. And when it turns on, you'll see that my bellows do not move very much. same C bass and G bass pattern that I just did with the little acoustic accordion and you'll also see that this instrument has more keys on it. So there's the two black keys and it uh, goes stops uh, in the same place as the little one but down on this end of the instrument get it in the right place here there are many more keys but in the middle it's all still the same you still have the two black keys three black keys two black keys, three black keys. One of the <clears throat> cool advantages of the digital accordion is that there is a uh, plug on the bottom here that you can plug in headphones. So you can play on this instrument for hours and hours and hours and nobody knows in your house that you're playing. So you're having all the fun for yourself instead of maybe annoying somebody as you're practicing and learning some of this beginning stuff. So, all right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is just Roll up my chair here a little closer. Oh boy. There we go. And let's bring this down so you can see my controls. There we go. Okay, so now this instrument has 120 bases on it. So instead of five rows like I had on the little one, now there are six rows. So there's two bass rows. Mm -hmm. And then there's four chord rows. So four variations. Um, for those who maybe have had guitar or uh, piano and know the names of chords, on the accordion we have the bass name and then the button right next to it is a major chord. The button after that is a minor chord. The button after that is a seventh chord. And the final row on a full-size instrument with 120 bass buttons 
is a diminished chord. So that uh, pattern that I played is exactly the same. I look for the uh, button that has the little indent. On some uh, older acoustic accordions, they actually had a little uh, diamond or crystal put on that. And if you're having trouble finding where that uh, button is, you can go to a, um, oh, a handy craft store or a fabric store and get these little stick-on buttons and you can put something there that will help you find that button. Uh, but after a while you learn to do it by feel. And you'll see these bellows hardly move. The reason why they uh, are not moving very much is because you're not moving air, you are controlling the dynamics of the instrument. So if I push harder or pull harder, so I can make it very soft. And there's not a whole lot of movement going on. So it in fact is much easier to play than the acoustic accordion. And then over here on the right hand side, here are those same notes that we were playing before. So it's the E, get my thumb by the two black keys. And uh, to make sure that you're in the right place, look for three and then two. That'll help you because uh, this can be confusing here with uh, different size accordions with how many are left down here. So next to the two is always the C, and if you're counting the alphabet, it's C, D, E, I'm just gonna stick my thumb underneath here, F, G, A, B, C. So it's the typical Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, all white keys. Okay, so here's that same tune again, and just on this uh, rolling accordion. Something about the digital accordion is that there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sounds on it. So I'm going to play that same tune again, but now uh, up here where it says orchestra, bass, and chord, I'm going to turn that on. So now I have a variety of different bass guitar sounds that I can have over there, and then I'm going to turn on the chord button over here, orchestra chord. And I have a variety of so there I've got like a bass guitar and a strum guitar and it's the C bass and the G bass and then in the right hand um, I had that accordion sound, but I'm going to take one that's got some uh, musette. It sounds like the uh, French accordions, and so it's like this. going to go up here where it says orchestra and now all these tabs on here instead of having accordion sounds on uh, the first one now and of course these are uh, instruments that I program uh, this does not sound like a rolling accordion that you might uh, buy straight out of the box that um, has been purchased from a dealer other than Crown Music in Arizona so the first one uh, it gives me a guitar sound. The second one gives me a nice little fluty organ. And 
here we got a tenor saxophone player. And here we got some vibes. And here we got some trumpets. And here we got a clarinet player. And here we've got a pedal steel. Alright, so now I'm going to take that same song that uh, we're learning here and in the left hand on this instrument, got that bass guitar. Well, let's even do one more fun thing. Um, we can, there's a button here called drums. When I turn that on, it adds a little bass and snare. So there's the accompaniment and here in the right hand, I'm going to use that little twangy guitar. that. Let's do it one more time and this time I'm going to play with the clarinet player and I'm going to go shift everything down to uh, a different octave. Again it's a 2C chord, C uh, black keys rather but still gives me the C sound but just higher in pitch. So how about that? You can play a song on either the acoustic accordion or the digital accordion. It is not hard and you just have to, it's uh, what I tell my students, um, there's something called muscle memory. You know, and it's like uh, after you have a new car, when you first buy it, it's kind of hard to find where the light switch is if you've uh, got to look for it or where the radio button is if it's not automatic on your car. Um, but after you've been in it a few times, your hands just remember where to go and uh, you don't have to look for those buttons anymore. And that's the same thing on the accordion. After you repeat these actions enough times, you will find that your fingers will just find these notes automatically and you don't have to struggle so hard. So repetition is the key to making it work for you. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm going to put a link in this uh, video for where you can find. I've got dozens of other accordion lessons that give you more of the theory of playing accordion and show you where the note names are and show you how to read really simple music. So thank you very much for watching and if you enjoy this video please hit like and please subscribe. Thank you.